Hi you guys, this is Black and Blue, and I don't know about you, but I'm ready to get into this review video. Let's go. Alright you guys, so I've been dying to try out Anacrylics powders with a dip solution set. They do not, this company does not have their own. So I'm gonna go ahead and use the powders from Anacrylics that are used for acrylic and a monomer um, system. I'm gonna try and use my Kiara Sky dip kit for these powders and see how they work. I'm so excited. We have a lot of colors, a lot of colors. Right now I have a poly gel set on my nails. I need my nails done really badly. I am gonna go ahead and just go in and use my nails as a test for this. I'm gonna quickly file my nails just a little bit. I'm gonna do all five nails so that I can have five colors to test. I will be trying different colors out on each hand. I got some glitters. I got some neon looking colors. I wish I could ask you guys what colors you want me to try out. But if I don't try out the color you want, go ahead and message down below and I could do a part two with the other colors if you guys wish. Just let me know. All right. Now that was not a real prep that I just did on my nails. It was a really quick one, two, three. And that's okay because, you know, all we have to do is take away the shine on the nails, really. So, and these are grown out just a tad bit. So we're gonna go in first with our bond. I do have a poly gel set on right now, which is okay. I'm gonna dry this out a little bit. All right. With a dip system, it's important to take the shine off because the second you dip it into that powder, if you have a shiny coat, that powder is gonna just wanna run right off your nails and it's not gonna hold or stick, especially by the cuticle. So it is important to do a good prep on your nails let's pick a color we have ariel let's see jasmine i want to try mm, i do want to try the white and i do want to try the black how about we do also a purple rapunzel okay sorry guys my camera uh my bet my memory became full so let me just move this All right, so where was I? I picked the colors already before my camera died. Lemonade, Jasmine, we're gonna do Snow White, Rapunzel, and Maleficent. Super excited guys, so let's go ahead and we're gonna open this one up. Let's start with the first color, which is Maleficent. I'm gonna zoom in some. I feel like the quality is better when we're zoomed in a bit. And actually, let me see if I can get my other ring light out here. All right. I don't know if that changed anything, but okay. So yes, yeah, looking pretty bright in here. So we're gonna go in with our step two, which is base coat. I love dip nails, you guys. When I stopped going to the Salon, I like to do this in quadrants. And I start with my tip. I like to do this in co in quadrants because I heard it has a better hold when you stack. So you would do this much, then this much, then this much, and then the whole nail. Let's see if it works. <gasps> oh my God, this black is black. Whoa. I don't know if it's the brightness of the lights, but 
it's blacker than it looks. It looks like kind of like this. This right here is really black, but it's coming off as like a grayish black or a dusty, ashy black, but it's black, black. I don't know how else to show you guys that, but it's really black. Wow. All right, where's my brush? Actually, I don't even have my brush out, hold on. Can't wait till this video gets posted. Okay, so I'm gonna just brush lightly. And then I am gonna go in with another coat. And I'm gonna stack it. I feel like there was something I was about to say and I can't remember what it was. But I ordered these liquids for the dip system from, okay. I see what I'm doing wrong here. And this should be stirred. Any powder you do dip with, you wanna stir it so your finger goes in smoothly. My finger's not going in very smooth, therefore it's causing kind of a ridge here. I usually just tap that if that's the case. Ooh, this dries pretty quick. God, I, wow, and it's not even leaving too much black. This is so cool. Um, I forgot what I was gonna say, but I, I think it had to do with my story time for one of my videos that's gonna be coming up. I am going to do a full set with um, acrylic for the first time on my channel. And when I film that, I'm doing a story time of why I don't go to the salon anymore. The nail salon. This is working. <laughs> so well besides this ridge issue that i have going on and it's already hardened that's really not too big of an issue because i can go in with a nail file after step three which i will do we're gonna get real nice and close to that cuticle dip nails is bomb oh i think that's what i was saying when i stopped going to the salon dip is the first nail system that i got into with doing by myself you go in at like a 45 degree angle now when something happens like this where you're um not picking up powder right there what i do is and that could be because your prep isn't great or it could be because I didn't get this liquid close enough to right there. I just go in with another coat and I will make sure that I get really close up in there. Oh, I see what I did. Did I brush? Yeah, I did. I'm going in with quite a bit. And when I do, when I'm doing this, I wanna make sure I get right where it's missed don't go too close to your cuticle. Make sure I dip it all the way in. Now you can clear cap this before you go in and do all your filing and everything. Wow, this dries so fast. It's even hot. I've not, I don't think I've ever touched, I don't know. That's really, really awesome. Okay, we're gonna close this up now that we are done with black. I almost wanna test it out because it, it's it's so hard right now and I haven't even put the step three on. But it's so hard. I, should, I didn't push my cuticles back either, guys. This is just a really quick. Okay, so I'm gonna try this. I haven't put step three on. Step three is the seal protect and that's what's gonna harden the nail in order for you to be able to file. I haven't done that, but it's so hard. Oh my gosh. This is a full out test and it is doing so good. Without even doing step three. <laughs> wow. So. Say you run out of step three. The hack is, wait, what does that girl say? Um, the gag is you don't even need step three when you're using anacrylics and the Kiara Sky 
dip. Skip it all together. It's, wow. I wasn't even gonna file yet till they were all done, but it's crazy how this is already hardened. This is crazy. I can't wait to see what it looks like with the top coat on. All right, we're gonna move on to our next color. Ooh, we're going straight into white. Okay. Let's go ahead and go on with our first. Ooh, you guys, why don't even, I'm not even using my diamond. Give you guys something pretty to look at. You guys actually want to be really fast when it comes to doing this after putting on your step two you want to quickly go in with your powder wow this powder is so light and fluffy wow let's see how fast this hardens Ooh. Oh, wait a second Before I brush it off, this white is so pretty. We're gonna see if the colors are consistent. All I can say is the black was bomb. Ooh, it's getting hard. Okay, we'll go ahead and go in with our next coat. So if you're someone that loves anacrylics for her story times and just wanting to support her and you don't know how to do acrylic with monomer and you don't really have the want to even learn how to do that, especially, I'm using the Nail Matrix monomer right now. If you live in a household where they do not want this smell seeping all around the house, not this smell, but monomer smell, dip is a great solution. Almost no smell whatsoever, and you can get um, a great, great, great powder to do your nails with. If you love the colors, do dip nails. Um, this monomer does have a low odor, so I love this one. I've got four bottles of these and it is taking me quite a while to get through it. I love this so much, but if you're that, household you're that person that doesn't do acrylic yo you can still buy her powders no problem just do this easy dip system if you can paint your nails with nail polish you can do dip nails it's seriously so easy for a fraction of the price if you're going to the, the salon so this is how i do it i do the dip at this angle um, some people just go like this and they will just tap their nail. I don't do that, but I see other people do it. Or you can take, let me see. Let me find this tool. Or you can take this tool and you can, I'll show you after I wipe this off. There's almost like no residue that comes off. It's almost like this is sticking so well to these liquids that it's holding on to almost all the powder. I'm going all the way to the cuticle right now. And if you want, you can just take your cuticle pusher and then do this I 
either option is okay. And it's like we got some really good coverage on that. And any shapes, any funny shapes you have, either whether it's from dipping or whatever, you can go in and rectify with your nail file. <gasps> Ooh, that's still sticky. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and jump to the next color. And the next color is, let's do lemonade. You guys know how to do it now, I've explained it, so I'm just gonna go ahead and not talk, but go ahead and do this. If you have any questions down below, go ahead and post it. I will answer everyone's questions. Wow. I wasn't gonna talk, but these colors are almost like heavier than the white. The white was like very, how do I say? Like it was sticky. This is not sticky at all. Holy cow, it cured on sight. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm gonna dip it next time. This is shocking me. So if I never get good at monomer and acrylic, because I'm practicing right now, these powders are not going to waste. Don't put your face too close. Ooh. Don't put your face too close when you're putting these liquids on, especially the base and the top coat. It's basically glue. My brush, this is a Mary Kay brush that's 100 years old that I use for this. It's a makeup brush that I don't use for makeup because I don't really do makeup. I wear like two things, three things on my face. Um, and two of those things are on my eyes and then blush. So this is a blush brush, but you see how rough that looks? I just use it for nails. This is, you guys, this is so cool. My next video, I'm gonna attempt to try and use the Nail Matrix powders for dip. And I am pumped to do that because I use her monomer and I love the monomer. So if her powders work really well with dip as well, oh yeah, game over, game over. That's a wonderful company. Oh wait, I said I wasn't gonna talk and I'm over here like nonstop talking. I got a little on the edge. Okay. All right, you guys. This is looking so good, especially by the cuticle. I could go in with one more layer, but why? I don't need to. It was a, um, a lighter color to where you can almost see through it a little bit, but you can add, as, the fun thing about this is you can add as many layers as you want. Remember, you wanna stir your powder. I forget sometimes, most of the time, but, um, and just be careful because I did do black and I wiped it off on this napkin so that it doesn't put black into any other color. Oh my God, it's so cool. And this is just a test, you guys. I'm not actually wearing all these colors. They're gonna be gone by tomorrow. I'm gonna just file them off. I actually need to take my nails off anyways. Okay, so this one is beautiful you sorry you guys I already like I, I did this right away to just brush it off and you guys my excitement is I'm holding in I'm holding back so much you guys don't even know I'm ready to scream at how happy I am I can use these powders for dip 
Oh my god, my daughter is gonna be so happy. My daughter is gonna freak. Especially if I can't do acrylic. <gasps> Especially if I can't do acrylic very well. Look, you guys. Mm. Imagine if I actually prepped my nails like the right way. Like, I'm dead. I hope a lot of people see this video just because I want people to be able to use these powders even if they don't do acrylic. That's the gag, man. It should really be marketed more like that. And she should even maybe come out with her own dip system. She will kill the game. I mean, she's already killing the game. <laughs> Let me be quiet. She's already killing the game, but not everybody knows how to do acrylic. And people are doing their nails at home these days and dip is a great option for doing your nails at home. It's easy, like so easy. I get this Kiara Sky from Amazon. This is so easy, it's scary. I get it from Amazon. Beautiful. A little pricey, but that's just the dip kit. You know, it's, it's a little pricey. And I don't mean a little pricey by super, super expensive, but <clears throat> it's expensive. It's not like your nail polishes come into like $3, $5. This is like $10, $12, $14, depending on what company you get. But they honestly, I almost want to say that each company is good. I haven't come across a crappy, um, I haven't come across a crappy dip kit solutions, like the liquids, but powders, powders are where they can be crappy. And we're going to go in with Jasmine. The powders can be crappy and that is why I'm really excited because these powders working with these liquids are amazing. I could make like an hour long video just cause I'm so excited and I love doing nails. And this is revolutionary, I feel like. Using an acrylics for dip. I haven't seen anybody do it. I went a little too early and just wiped off some of that. That's okay. I'm kind of speeding through it right now, but you can see with me doing this in real time, you can see that it doesn't take long. Doing dip does not take a long time. Maybe the first time or the first couple times, it'll take you a little bit longer, maybe, but right off the bat, dip it a couple times, do your layers, um, and then use your step three, which with this, you don't have to. I probably still would just to solidify it but and harden it. But you guys saw with this nail, I literally did not. And it's cured already. That's so wild. But this is what you put on after you're done with this. Jasmine is beautiful. Wow. Jasmine is so beautiful. I stir this I don't even think I stirred this but it's going on beautifully got a little bit on this side and then I have this section right here isn't catching and I might not be putting enough product there you can see that all you got to do is the cuticle is not too bad but all you gotta do is go in with another layer. It's a piece of cake. And you can file. So I'm gonna go ahead and I just wanna show you guys if I were to say, just adding a little bit right here, you don't really wanna do that because it'll add a layer to your nail while the rest is like lower. And that's just more filing, so just if you need to fill some in, just do a whole coat. There we go. Let's 
the cuticle looks great. I got that side action in. All right. Whoa, which one is that? Looking all weird in the bright light. Okay, that was super fun. A little dusty in here. I need to get a dust collector because this dust is for real. And you really don't wanna breathe that in like I am right now and like I always am. You guys. Okay, I'm just gonna show you how the dip kit system goes, even though this doesn't need it. I'm going in with this hardening layer. Very thin, it's almost like acetone kind of, or alcohol. I don't think I brushed that nail off, did I? Okay, that is the hardening stage. I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this napkin that's super dusty. That was step three that I just did. I don't know if I showed you guys the seal protect. I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this. All right, this is what the colors are looking like. I put on that hard layer or that step three and that was to harden the nails for filing so i'm just gonna do a really quick filing job now if you start filing and you're getting up like a lot of the product that means that it's not hard yet and you want to wait a little bit longer i'm just gonna go in and kind of make the shape a little prettier Underneath I did have poly gel and the shape will move on you. Poly gel is like a soft gel, so it will start to change shape with daily activity. And I'm gonna be taking these nails off like tonight, maybe tomorrow, maybe tomorrow. Now, the one thing that I have going on here is this on my side. Let's see if I can get that off. If I can't get it off, that's fine. It will come off. Oh, 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 oh. Yes. Piece of cake. I was gonna say it'll come off on its own in a day or so. <laughs> you guys. I might actually try and make this look really good just because I wanna post a picture. Okay, let's go with the white. Now this, you can see, and it's up to you if you want to. If you're really going for a really cute set, I would recommend it, but whoa, that looks blue. Why does that look so weird? Hold on. Okay, that's a little bit better. That was looking crazy. So, I would recommend, oh, I see. Okay, so I have different colors on my fingers. Like right now I have like a grayish black on my nails. And when touching white, it will pick up all those colors. Like I use this for different colors to brush away black and everything else and it will, the white will pick it up. I believe maybe even yellow will pick it up as well. What was I saying? totally forgot what I was saying. Oh yeah. Um, so this was looking a little thinner down here, a little less opaque and thicker up here. So go in with an extra, if I was going for like a full bomb set of dip, I would have gone in with another layer on all of these. But I am just going through a test and I wasn't really trying to make this look super bomb. I just wanted to see if it worked. And it does beautifully. It works honestly better than dip powders. I have the Kiara Sky dip powders, which are really nice. 
but <laughs> not this nice. Not this nice. I can't wait to take a picture with these, you guys. I'm like proud of and acrylics for making such a bomb powder. And I doubt she'll see this video because I'm such a small channel and I don't think any of my videos really get recommended to people. But if somehow she sees this video, I want to say, girl, you did that. You are so good. You are so bomb. You and your partner killed it with these powders. Killed it. This is literally amazing. Those of you that are not afraid to do dip, but you're not trying to do acrylic please try this especially if you want her powders i'm so excited to try the nail matrix because if it works like this i'm gonna have so many acrylic and um so many acrylic and dip powders they can be used for multiple purposes that makes buying an, an ex more expensive powder way worth it. <sighs> Not that these are way expensive, but there are cheaper powders. But I like the best of the best. That's the kind of type of person I am. Okay. All right, we're gonna do a top coat. Then we're gonna take some pictures. It's not looking too shabby. Again, I would have gone in with an extra coat on all of these. So. How are we looking, guys? Let me turn this light back on. How are we looking? Not too bad. I haven't done dip in a little while. I've been on the poly gel game, so I'm really pumped to be doing this. I don't really care for step four top coat on any dip system. I rather go in with a gel base coat and or top coat or both, but I'm gonna go ahead and go in with this because we have it. It's sitting right here. And you usually wanna go in with two coats of this because the first coat will dry and then it won't be very shiny. And sometimes your brush will harden on this step if you have any trace of step three on your nails. You wanna wipe away step three before going in with step four or your brush will just turn into a brick. If people are curious why they their brushes keep turning into bricks while doing this, that's why. Get rid of that step three. Okay, I need to rectify this nail because it's got traces of black on it. So I'm gonna go ahead and just go in with my buffer block and then go in with the top coat right after. I'm not gonna use this brush because that's got the traces of different colors in it. I didn't do a, oh man, you guys, I didn't do a glitter nail. But you guys, I usually do black nails and I am pumped about this. I usually do black nails. Okay, my memory became full. This is what it looks like with one gel, not gel, with one top coat. You guys can see this is kind of see-through a little bit down here where you wanna add another layer. That is what I'm talking about. This black is just so dark, it was it was <laughs> a wrap. I'm gonna add a second coat for more shine. Again, I don't usually use the top coat from these kits, 
my brush already feels like it's trying to harden. Yeah, my brush is getting hard. Which, once your brush starts getting hard, it will do a very crappy job of placing your top coat. It'll look kind of streaky and bumpy. But I'm trying to make it work. All right. I just don't like this. It's so such a strong, like, glue smell when you're close to it. Like, if it's close to your eyes, your nose, your eyes are going to water and it's going to burn. And your nose is going to be pissed at you. My dog even hates it. All right, once this is dry, I'm gonna go in with steps, oh, five. Step six is brush softener. So if your brush starts getting hard, just go ahead and, ooh, this is still wet. So we're gonna wait just a little bit, be right back. So this right here is what my nails look like after doing that top coat. It's not good. I have a little bit here where I can just either let that come off on its own, or I could go in and get rid of it and, Make it a little bit nicer. A nail file will get anything on your skin off pretty pretty well. <sighs> okay, I'm going in and doing that right now even though I did the top coat because I'm gonna show you guys what I actually like doing versus this. <sighs> so this top coat, most top coats, this is what happens. It's so weird. I don't know why it happens, but it happens with dip powders. The top coat just sucks. It's not good. That's why I like going in with uh, a gel top coat. I really like these and um, how they look matte. I really like that actually. You can go in with any top coat. I have a top coat from An Acrylics, but it's the matte one and I want this to be shiny actually. So I have a base coat and I have a matte top coat, but like I said, we're not gonna go in with those. I am gonna go in with I'm just gonna go in with a Savvy Land top coat. Their top coat's pretty good. Doing a top coat like this, it's dry once you take it out of the lamp. When it comes to their dip powder top coat it seriously I'm dry that right away it takes forever to dry almost like you're waiting for nail polish to dry you'll get fingerprints in it really easily it's just not a good time sorry i have a lot of stuff in camera right now my cords and all that but but uh yeah now trying to get this done look how beautiful that is like let's compare it to a nail I didn't even touch there's this and then there's this okay I'm gonna go ahead and go in and do all of my nails sometimes I like to cure it right away because top coats will do this weird spotting I don't know what causes it. It's almost like there's an oil on your nails. So it kind of breaks apart. <clears throat> I threw this one in really fast and it didn't happen with this nail. Look how reflective that is. Make sure that didn't happen with any of our nails. It did a little bit right here. This is what I'm talking about. Maybe you'll be able to see. Right. We're looking right here on the yellow nail. You can see that kind of crater it created. I just go back in with another 
coat and then I throw it in the lamp really fast. Again, I don't know what causes it. It looks like something that would happen if there was oil on my nail. This is actually looking pretty goopy. Don't know why. I like this top coat though because it is a no wipe, meaning it is not sticky to the touch when you take your nails out of curing. It's ready to go. Alright you guys, this is the final look. I am so impressed, you guys, with how this turned out. I love it. Tell me what you guys think down below. Would you try this for dip powders? Are you someone who doesn't know how to do acrylic very well? Or you just never tried? Maybe you've never tried, but I promise if you guys order these colors and you want to get them and you want to try acrylic and it doesn't work out or you just want to go straight to doing dip, you guys, these powders work. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I think I'm going to figure out a cool design I want to do. I'm so excited. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys in the next one. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching. Bye. I'm Kenny. Like the last time, like a time was right now. Show me what it's about.